things are uh, heating up a little bit i'm just gonna adjust the levels on the fly here uh i need to tilt a little bit on this to see my input meters so i don't know why they don't like this maybe i have to set things a little differently um this now we're into more uh, more heavy guns here and uh, hopefully this will be uh, quite a different uh, sound again because now i brought out one of the heavies um as you probably see from the initial video cuts this is uh, well the suspension there it took me about half an hour to set this uh, microphone in its place so uh, this is not for this kind of everyday use but i now i want i wanted to test it because it's been laying around in my house for uh, years and i have uh, i haven't had any good opportunities to use it so now i try i was thinking why not let's try Maybe it's becoming my new uh, favorite and the NT1 have to go um, in the background. But this one I bought uh, many years ago from a good friend of mine. Uh, brand new. So uh, I have never really had the opportunity to try it out. Uh, I had a big studio and uh, we went bust just in, uh, in this kind of moment when I bought this. So... I didn't have the heart to sell it because it's so beautiful. So uh, it's a, a very early version of the mic tech. I love to I love to hear this, and uh, especially now through the preamp system. Uh, but this is uh, not for everybody to use because you can. You can barely touch it. This is a purely for studio use and uh, I wouldn't dream of taking it outside. That's why I got this uh, this pop filter in front of it now and uh, uh, now I'm sitting with the headset. I, I, I need the pop filter, I can hear that. So uh, uh, I'm sitting with a headset now and uh, I'm removing it uh, just to continue talking about this. Uh, it's an uh, essential bit of kit if you want to do very serious stuff, but uh, I'm very, very excited to hear how this works. And uh, I'm ultra happy with the uh, Beach Tech so far. Uh, and it's coming a new thing uh, uh, in a few days uh, that will allow me to record the audio completely separately and st uh, because now we're all we're recording everything to the camera system and uh, i will be able to do that as well so uh it, I, it will be very exciting to see what what we can figure out with this device because it's a mobile four channel system and uh, those two together would uh, i guess be a good match um and then I ordered some new uh, cables for my uh, my SP25, which uh, they are actually very, very good, uh, but the cable sucks uh, on them, as they do on every Sennheiser product. You have to be very careful with the cables. Uh, I have a modification in mind uh if it works on this one maybe i will do it on the more expensive uh hd 600s uh we'll see uh, it's a little risky if i do something wrong but i, I essentially want to take the cable in a loop and go over the headband and get the cable out on one side just like this uh, dt 880s have yeah, the cable is coming out on one side. I just, I think it's better than 
it's coming down on there and chin like my hds and uh i like the 600s uh and, but this one is very i can't hear anything <laughs> almost almost silent it's a very closed cans uh, the 880s uh, are a little heavy to get, uh, they are 250 ohms, no problem for this uh, little baby, but I think uh, this one I use mainly the, in the PA uh, system, they are so uncomfortable you don't want to keep them, this is the first version anyway, maybe the second version is nicer, I don't know, but this is almost it's almost like wearing a bottle uh, but it's okay for uh, monitoring and uh, that's mainly what I'm gonna use it for so uh, uh, this on the other hand is seriously dead comfortable uh, stuff you can actually oh that was very nice now I hear myself again this one you can wear for hours, it's no problem. Uh, the HD 600s is uh, on my head uh, also very comfortable. I, can, I wear them for hours. But they leak a lot more sound into them. But for mixing, uh, the HD 600 is the only way to go. Uh, it's uh, industry standard. Uh, many people use this as well. I tried it. Uh, doesn't really fit my bill, but but the HD 600 is very precise, very linear, and uh, I recommend them for all the... They are expensive, but they're worth every penny. Uh, it's not much more to say about headsets. I'm t uh, I actually want to talk about the microphone. Because to me it sounds very good in here, in the cans. So... Um, Without further ado, let's uh, try and put some uh, juice in the machine and see what I can get. And I'm also recording on a video mic at the same time, so I uh, I will compare them. Uh, actually, there should, there's no point. I mean, this one will kill uh, a lot of mics, I guess. Yeah. 